Yeah, it's just a loading screen. It's fine. Guardians, I am not your vanguard, and I give no orders, only a warning. The pyramid ahead is not like those you previously encountered. This one was not left for you to find. You were not guided to it, not beckoned. This domain belongs to a dark entity, unknown in power. It seeks domination of the throne world. Your presence within will be most un... Welcome, children of light. Drown in the deep, or rise from it. Does anyone have uh, knowledge or any of that on the screen?
Alright, last crystal is activated. Chest is open, just gotta wait until we get to the end. gonna be in a back right corner. Once we get done with the ogres, you should better get there without any problem. It's right underneath my dog. It's in that, it's in the door room. You will get mods, but once you complete the first raid, you start getting more items. Please tell me it's just not just to get the chest and leave. Typical LFG. Shadow, uh, Shadow Dive Skate or Shadow Skate, so if you recall. Uh, does anyone have the knowledge or dream on their left of screen? Alright, go ahead and go to golf.
Each one will tell you on the top left above your radar. So just make sure you pay attention above your radar. Total of 27 symbols that you have to remember. This is the symbol room. Each one where right above your radar would tell you each symbol is. The sort of 27 symbols so you must learn. The other guy that disconnected and I'm not sure why Bell left. So this room over here is going to be the first actual encounter. So what we just did was to open the pyramid. The witness sees light fall. Welcome. Glimpses you free of chains. Boundaries. Truly limitless potential. Domination. Unbound. So if you look to your left and to your right, 
you see symbols on the wall. That could be indicating the doors. So, if you come over here, it's gonna be a pillar right here. Top first, middle, last. So, the top is depending on which side, it's your knight. Take a knight gonna spawn in. Once you kill your take a knight, that's gonna spawn the second orb. <clears throat> it's gonna be one of these symbols on the wall. Once you indicate which symbol you're going through, the runner will be as if it's light or dark. That's what this one is gonna be. It'd be a black with squiggly white lines if it's dark. And it'd be pure white if it's light. <clears throat> I'm going to have you go in a room with me, so you are able to know which side is which. But, you're more likely going to be doing that clear. So if you come down here towards Mad Dog, you will see a symbol called Grief. Or a hole in chest. Whatever you want to call it. That's one of the three symbols you must pay attention to while you're in Mad we call that one Whisper or Pedophile. Grief or gi uh, that's Give actually. This symbol is Give. And back here in the very back, this is going to be Enter. If you're on the right side, it could be three of either. Symbols, it doesn't really matter which. First symbol on right, you can technically get Whisper, but it's very rare. <clears throat> well, Whisper. I might say Whisper. Worship. This is called Commune. Over here is Drink or Challenge. Brain, Knowledge. Or stop or rest. There's one more on left. Left side is gonna have to deal with stop, drink, or brain. It's rare, but you also be getting grief too. Last one on right side. It's one of the hardest to remember because it's hidden pretty well. If you're on right side. You're also going to be dealing with kill or stabbing heart, whatever you want to call it. So each symbol is represents which store the runner is going to be going into. When the runner is going into, there's going to be two gift keepers, which is the big captains. <clears throat> one's going to be on right and one's going to be on dark. Whichever one is on light and if the symbol is light, you're gonna be shooting light. <clears throat> if the symbol is dark, you're gonna be shooting one that has the dark symbol behind it. Each one will indicate which one you're going to, and also indicate which one you must kill. If you kill the opposite one, it drains the power of the totems. So where GIF is, uh, golf is over here, this. It's obelisk. You must protect them against the shield scorn. If the shield scorn contains too much damage, it's a wipe. If a timer reaches to the top without finishing one of the areas, it's a wipe. Don't worry if your side is a little bit slow. It all depends if you can complete the uh, mid or right side first. If you complete those, one of those sides first, it will start to reset the timer, which also indicates to unlock the symbol. If you do it too slow, it's a wipe. So there's a lot of wipe mechanics in this. You do three rounds, and it's done. To complete a round, all three locations, mid, right, and left, must indicate 
This symbol wants to kill the gift. The three symbols respond here. One symbol on each side of the obelisk on one of the sides. It could be mid first, it could be left first, or it could be right first. It's completely random, it doesn't matter which one's first. Just have someone come over here. I shoot this side, another person shoots this side of the symbol, and another person shoots this side, pretty much the exact same time. Shoot until it glows, once it glows, it completes the side. It say Obelisk accepted the offer. Once it says Obelisk accepted offer, you don't need to worry about your side. Only thing you need to worry about is out clear and the symbols. Not this tall. <clears throat> it's going to be confusing a little bit, but once you get a hang of it, it's going to be extremely easy. Running is going to be the hardest one to be the first um, mechanic to do. So if you're not used to running, it's going to be pretty difficult for you to do. But it's pretty easy to learn too. So if we start it, let me go ahead and start it. So see this nut right here? Up here, this represents the opening of the doors and also what starts the encounter. You shoot it, it starts the encounter. Also, if you wait until it goes down, shoot it again, it opens the door. So if somebody says open a door, you just shoot this gun, and it'll open up the next door. So if you come with me, Adrian, go inside a drink. So you see this room? Alright, so there's gonna be two captains spawn in this room. One right here, one right here. So these are your job. So if your side it says drink, traveler, and light or dark. So if it says dark, you shoot the left one. If it's light, uh no. If it's dark, you shoot the right one. If it's light, you shoot the left one. You kill those gifts, it's going to drop a symbol. That one symbol you're going to be indicating, either you can text it in a fire team chat, or you can announce it, and we can write it down. So it doesn't matter what you do, as long as we get that symbol down. So once you get that symbol down, that is one of the symbols for the obelisk, on one of the three obelisks we must shoot. Once you collect all three, on all three zones, you're going to be sitting there and you're going to shoot the correct symbols on the obelisk. Three sides, three symbols. So let's say it's Garden, Ascended Plane, and Love. You shoot Love, Ascended Plane, and Black Garden. You have two to three people shoot it, it doesn't matter who shoots it, as long as you shoot it within about three seconds of each other. If you shoot it too late or you shoot the wrong one, it's gonna say offer is declined or the wrong offer. That is gonna represent you saying, oh, I guess shoot it again. So you must shoot the correct one. If you fuck up too many times, it's a wipe. There's a total of six ways of wiping this mechanic. Wiping as a team. Obelus being destroyed. Shooting the wrong gifts. Time to run out. That's far. Um, if you take too long, that also has to do with the timer. And also, if you get the wrong symbols multiple times. If you get the wrong symbols multiple times, it's a wipe. I think there's three to four fails before a wipe seal. Hey Ruby, got a mic? Alright, do you know how to run? Alright. I'm gonna invite one of my friends here. Oh, no mind. Somebody joined.
So you can pick either side if you want to be mid, right, or left. I'm probably going to have you do Ackler, Edrin. And your job is just to clear the ads as many as you can. It's going to be on stop, so make sure you have on stop hand cannon. And I don't know why he left. So make sure you have on stop hand cannon or something that deals with on stop. So your job is going to be reading the top, uh, top symbol, which is going to be either Traveler or Pyramid. Read the mid, that's either going to be Worship, Give, or Grief. And once the bottom one shows up, you're going to read it Dark or Light. That's pretty much all your job is. So it doesn't really matter which side you're going to be on. If you need help, I will help you as much as I can. And I'll try my best to kill the knights that you need to. We're just waiting on sex, I guess. So once you uh, get used to this encounter, it gets extremely easy. You can do this bloody blindfolded. It gets really easy. As long as you have a team that communicates and also knows what they're doing. It's easy as pie. The hardest encounter of all the raid is third encounter. Which is also known as the assy bitch fucking relic. Which is one of the hardest to teach. As long as there's only one person that's new, it's fine, but more than one, it gets extremely hard to teach. <clears throat> so you understand what you're doing now, or do you need another uh, reminder? Adrian. Yeah, do you understand what you're doing or do you want another remind? Yeah, so that's going to be on these poems over here. So if I have you on right side, you're just going to read the top one. If it's Traveler or Pyramid, Pyramid's left side, Traveler's right side. So always remember that. It doesn't matter what position you're on, it's always going to be a left side for Pyramid. So you're going to read the top if it's Traveler or Pyramid. Middle one for the doors. If you don't know the name, just guess it. You can just say Upside Down Triangle, that's Commune. You can say Pedophile, that's Worship. You can say Knife Going Through Heart, that's Kill. You can say chalice or drink, that's over there, or knowledge, which is the brain. Once you say that second symbol, the last one's going to spawn up and that's going to be the di uh, darker light. And you just continuously add, uh, kill the adds, kill these shield guys immediately. Because if they cause too much damage to Obelisk, it's a wipe. They will be on stop, so make sure you have Malefeasance or some type of hand cannon. And you should be fine. Other than that, it's pretty easy. Self-explanatory. Very calm, it's not really a... How can you say... Rage-inducing. It's more calm as long as you communicate. 
If you have trouble understanding what step boat is, I'll come over to help you. Let's go ahead and wipe so he can rally up. Be my volunteer runners. I know Ruby can. Ted can. Um, golf. Smokey, keep one of you run. You guys got a mic? Smokey, rook, golf. Mics are required at all rates. This is going to be difficult, but can be managed. It all depends. I guess I'll run for mid. Don't really have a choice because I have my and two people don't. I'm already killed that travel side. Someone killed the captains. I don't know which symbol's which. So that's possible wipe. Uh, shoot the knight in the middle. It's already a wipe anyways, because somebody shot two knights. Well, two captains. Let's go ahead and wipe. 